Welcome to my channel, Craft Imaginations. I wanted to show you a tutorial I did based on an idea I had earlier this week. And all you need is polymer clay, some water slide paper, a printer to print your design, and just your hands, honestly. So first I sanded my pieces with 400 grit just to get a rough surface on the top. After sanding, I did a small water bath. After printing your designs on your water slide, you prepare them by cutting them out and then you dunk them in a little bit of cold water and you, based on the instructions on the water slide, you have to submerge them for 30 to 60 seconds or until your images come loose. You want to be very careful in this step because your images can damage and as you will see in the video i left a little bit of high royally messed up on one of them but i wanted you to see my fail so that you prevent the mistake so you want to take as much time as possible because your water slide is very capricious and it doesn't move easily if your surface is not very conducive to water and it's going to want to stick so once it's there, it's there. It's not going to move unless you lift it. And because it's a very thin film, it's going to mess up and crinkle on each other. On itself, I should say. Once you have your design on top of your piece, you want to flatten it. And try to kind of like do a finger, a thumb tap to get it really in there to get all that water residue that is between your water slide and your clay out. In addition to using my thumb to get my design in place, I also use the baby wipe to get the last of the water residue out. This helps me make sure that the image is adhering perfectly. This is one of the chakra symbols and it looks perfectly on my clay piece. I use pearl clay on this design. What I did notice is that based on the color, it makes a huge difference whether the design pops up or not. This one is just white clay and the design is on black ink. I did a few different tests. So the dark blue and, and black doesn't show very well. And if you can see from the shine lighting, these are gonna need an extra layer of resin or something to get that rough surface off. And the rough surface is from your water slide because they need to be covered in a layer of sealer and it creates this little rough texture on top. But this is so when you dink your image in your water, it doesn't just come apart. This is a step I wanted to show you where I completely messed up this design. This is a Luna Moth and because the cuts are so intricate, the water slide is very flimsy. So you do not want to lift and put down, lift and put down because the outcome is, is just going to roll in itself. So once you slide it in there, try to move it as little as possible. This is uh, also clay, white clay, I believe. So it shows perfectly with the purple ink. This one is a pearlized clay and it is a watercolor moth and it shows perfectly fine as well. This one is also cl white clay and the design is in different colors so it pops really well. These other pieces are light color, pearled and white and they show very well. And the last dark one I did was this black clay mixture with pearl and blue. And the purple print barely shows, so you might want to stick with lighter colors unless you paint your clay beforehand. Again, I'm very happy with the outcome, and this is totally a game changer if you haven't tried it yet. If you like this tutorial, I hope you like and subscribe. Can't wait to show you what's next.